we actually spared absolutely no expense getting this 2010 NASCAR season um, just started off. Uh, we, we have went out and found from wide to Gap, Alabama, Ricky Bobby. I want you to give it up for Ricky Bobby Skidmark Jr., the third. Hey, Ricky Bobby. How are you, Ricky Bobby? Good All to see you, right. man. Good to see you, man. All yeah, right. that's uh, Ricky Bobby. And listen, Ricky, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and so the guys can know your history and stuff. Be happy to. Well, first of all, I want to thank you there, Kyle, for having me on your show. Keith, dude. It's Keith. Uh, Keith, yeah. Yeah, uh, thanks. Man, I'm just pleased as punch to be here today. Yeah. Like you mentioned, I, I grew up in uh, Wide Tooth Gap, Alabama, and uh, you just asked me about my early childhood. Uh, I was looking back at some old baby pictures. I got to tell you, Kurt, it was... Uh, it's Keith, dude. Uh, Keith. Even at a, at a very young age, I guess I knew my choices in life was going to be few Here's uh, me as a baby. And then yeah. I, uh, Think a good looking kid you were, man. That and, uh, was awesome. I'll tell you, life yeah. wasn't easy. <laughs> good you lived and, in that uh, town. <laughs> and as a toddler, there's my family. And, uh, boy. <laughs> so I guess at an early age, I knew life was just going to be a little different for me. Uh, it all started uh, way back in an early decision I made. I was just coming out of there the, out of the fifth grade, getting ready for my senior year. And uh, says to myself, self, Education ain't for you. Good point. So uh, I made a big decision there with the help of my parole officer, uh, Uncle Buford. Uh, him and me decided <laughs> yeah. that I was going to drop out of school. And, uh, you know, the truth is I made it three years longer than any of my kids. <laughs> That's really good, man. That's really good. So, is that, so you ended up kind of your education kind of world, and you ended uh, up in NASCAR. Yeah, no, How'd you end up in NASCAR? Well, Kenny, I tell you. Keith, I went, dude, uh, Keith, I went through... Uh, <laughs> I went through some different careers uh, before NASCAR. Uh, early on, I, I had me a dream job down there at the 99 cent store, uh, but I done got fired. I was the uh, pricing manager down there. And then, uh, <laughs> that's complicated. I can see how that could throw you off. And, Yo, dude, and, are you uh, okay? Yeah, I had me a, a management job down there at the Sonic Burger, but I got fired there too. I, couldn't remember that line, uh, do you, um, you, oh, you want fries with that? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty complicated, isn't then it? Then uh, one of the ones I was the most proud of, I had me a sh short stint there. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I wouldn't drink too much of it. I, had, me a, <laughs> just, had me a short stint there in something I like to call commodial engineering. Uh, but that job didn't work out, neither. The uh, owner didn't appreciate the paint job I'd done in my truck there. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> You're a sick man, I'm telling you, man. Way to go, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> you know, the truth, Kervin, when I think about it... Keith, never mind. I'm not, Keith, yeah. Not, yeah, whatever. You got something about that name thing there, don't you? <laughs> uh, truth is there, uh, Keith, uh, uh, fate done throwed me into it. You see, I, I suffer myself from dyslex, um, dysenter, um, disingen... Dad and Abbott, I can't do numbers. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, one day I was going through one of them there school zones, and I got to be honest with you, I thought 52 was a little fast. Um, <laughs> quite frankly, I'm Never not, mind, I'm, Ricky. I'm that's a, good. You're doing just fine, buddy. Quite frankly, I'm quoting a federal judge on that 52 <laughs> number right there. Uh, so, that pretty much changed my life at that uh -huh. point in, in, in a courtroom. So, so, what's it like to be a racer, man? What would it be like to be a NASCAR driver? <laughs> For a livery, man. Do, guys in the front row, do not light matches. There's a real problem up here. Go ahead. I tell you, Coy, racing, Keith, 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 Keith. Keith. Yeah. racing is just amazing. You come down there on race day, you got thousands of your fans out there in the stands. You got all your best buddies in the car over there. You, excuse me. <laughs> you got your mom and daddy sitting there in the stands just as proud as they could be of their little boy. Daddy, he's a... <laughs> Daddy, he's an Earnhardt fan. Yeah, rest I can peace. see that, yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Daddy, uh, did I mention my sponsor's Metamucil? They, uh, <laughs> da Daddy likes to call it the original rotor rooter. <laughs> well, yeah. Kirby, uh, Keith, Keith you, uh, you fire up that number. That race day, man. <laughs> fire up that number, 88, Taco Bell, Waffle House, Piggly Wiggly, Chick-fil-A, Hooked on Phonics, Chevrolet. Then they drop that flag. And you just start scooting right around that track. 
<laughs> Scooting's a good word for that there. Did right? I say right? <laughs> I meant left. You don't turn right. Right is where the fans and the fence is. They're right to get you in a heap big trouble like a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory. You always turn left. I turn meant left. left. That's good. <laughs> Speaking of wrong, did I? It would be wrong not to mention my sponsor one more time, Metamucil. In fact, I got me a sign. Put me a sign on the back of my car to remind me about it. <laughs> Ricky, yeah. Man. Now, Coy, I done heard all the okay. jokes about how. Uh, Never Keith, mind. I Sorry. done heard, heard all the like jokes. I like Coy. I'll keep it. It's fine. I done on heard all them jokes about how simple racing is. Let me tell you, it ain't that easy. I took some pictures of my last race just to tell y'all how difficult it can be. So uh, here we have a picture of me in turn one, and there I'm, I'm turning left in turn one. And then I come up in turn two, and here's a picture. I'm turning left again, and then it gets exciting. I went straight for just a little bit <laughs> down that back stretch, and then I come up on turn three, and I says to myself, turn left one more time. And then turn four, uh, uh, turn left there again. And I, I'd done that 500 times that day. That's pretty good, Ricky. Right good. through Stay it, Stay with that left thing. That's good. Yeah, race fans, I'm telling you, it's not as easy as it looks. It's a high-pressure job. And uh, speaking of high-pressure, nothing really is high-pressure like metal <laughs> <laughs> so poor. Uh, Keanu, I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Do you uh, mind if I ask you how long this interview might last? Cause yeah, I, I hope it doesn't go real long, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, Cole, I gots to go. <laughs> this uh, metal muscle's going through me faster than Michael Vick goes through a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> oh, man. Now, let me tell you, Kirby, if, if turning left weren't enough, now they go and put three pedals on the floor. One, two, three. Really? Uh, okay. I really only know about the one, the uh, accelerator. And uh, while I'm turning left, sometimes I got to push down on that, then other times I got to let up. That's good thing. All while turning left. You're amazing. Complicated, Just I'm telling you. Gifted. Gifted. Uh, Camille, you don't mind if I. <laughs> sure. <laughs> don't mind if I mention my sponsor one more time, no, do you? You feel free. You've been mentioning it a thousand different ways up here. Race fans, uh, that amusal is for you. If you suffer from frequent constipate. Constellate. Conservative. Look, fans, if you can't poop, <laughs> if you're corked up like a cheap bottle of moonshine, Metal Musa was a ticket for y'all. And let me tell you, race fans, it's exciting. It's now available in four new refreshing flavors. That's we got true. your lightning pink prune. <laughs> we got the boysenberry bottom burp. <laughs> Would you just stop drinking this stuff? We too? got prairie dog and peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> and my personal favorite race fans, Tangerine Thunder Down Under. <laughs> well, we're just about out of time here, Ricky Bobby. This is just about it, I think. Uh, not so fast there, Kenny. I, uh, <laughs> I had one more thing. Y'all remember the, uh, the uh, Trump monkey security system we all took a look at here a few weeks ago? I had a little bit of security problem down there at the track. I wanted to get me one of them trunk monkeys installed on my NASCAR, uh, but they done musted up, and I ended up with a trunk chimpanzee. Get that thing off of my car. <laughs> There's nothing funny there. Oh, man. I think, Ricky, I think we really are out of time, man. You're going to have to... Um Listen here, Kyle, Go I, I got a would. few more sponsors I wanted to just, mention on the way out. Yeah, uh, take that number 88, Play-Doh, Light Bright, Penzo, Yellow Pages, Nutrisystem, Chevrolet, Burger King, Lucas Oil, Cooter's Mobile Home Village, and Legal Services, Chevrolet is just a